Okay, I got the microphone on and it looks like I'm transmitting. I'm live. I'm hoping I'm live. Uh, YouTube says I'm live. <laughs> I gotta be live. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to day 168 of our Icelandic uh, volcano eruptions. And uh, right now we're uh, kind of, well, in the dark. <laughs> I actually uh, did this shot here uh, to have a look and see what it looked like earlier before it uh, got dark out. So that's what we're actually looking at. And uh, just wanted to say, first off, actually, before we get started here, it's uh, please take a look at the top of your chat box if you are just joining in uh, and you see top chat or live chat up there then uh, you're definitely watching a live stream. If you see top chat replay or live chat replay, you are watching a stream that has already finished. And please remember then that you cannot make comments in the chat box on the side, uh, but you'll have to make regular comments down below. And of course, it's not interactive at that point anymore. So if you say hi or, you know, that kind of thing, it doesn't really help us out. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if you do have a question, by all means, or comment, we do appreciate it. And I am still working on catching up to them. Anyway, why, since I've said all that, I want to say hi to a few people. Uh, first off, I'm going to say hi to Arizona Snowman, our uh, wonderful man in blue. And uh, he takes care of business, so please don't give him a hard time. He's a really good fella and uh, he's here uh, doing his duties as a moderator and welcoming everyone and uh, glad to see that and i'm gonna welcome a whole pile of you as well so i see rebecca patterson aaron uh, horton in here paul zilla uh, chicky and gomberg and uh, so sue hayes also popped in jay donaldson frosty username uh, scott hartman carla edwards of course uh, welcome carla Nancy Buchanan as well. She made it over here from the other uh, place, uh, from the bunny cam. And Luke Mule in here as well. Scott Hartman, I think I said you before. Thendis Nye, welcome back. Glad to have you on board, Thendis. And let's see, Zoe is here, Russell Jr. Uh, Ducky is in the house. Uh, good to see you, Ducky. Sherry Hewitt also back. Good uh, to see you back. Diane Craig. Uh, I think I got Zoe, James Geip Geip, uh, Judy McClellan, oh, welcome you guys, uh, uh, Stephen Foster and uh, Bob Catty, uh, Luke Mule, Renique, and uh, let's see, who else, welcome all you guys, uh, let's see, uh, Silicone Avatar, boy, you guys really piled it in real quick here, uh, Tom Tom is here as well, Carol Peacock, Oh uh, boy, oh boy. Michelle popped in here. Uh, Jay Donaldson. I hope I got most of you guys. Anyway, I could probably read more names and uh, more stuff, but I think I'm going to uh, just go down to the bottom end here and see why there's all kinds of bacon showing uh, in the chat, but nothing on the screen. <laughs> anyway, guys and girls, um, yeah, uh, really, right now the volcano has been down for over. 35 hours and um, we've been actually well I've been kind of disappointed but uh, if we pop over to the uh, seismic chart real quick uh, you can actually see uh, how long of a time period it has been down and uh, I'm hoping that this is an indicator here that it is going up now uh, the last uh, refresh had showed it going up a little bit so um we don't know yet what's going to happen so it's uh it's a um yeah uh, how deep is that yeah it's a deep deep sleep <laughs> uh anyway um it's pretty nasty so i'm hoping that um we get all three colors past our 4000 line there where we'll start seeing something cook I'm a um, little amazed here that the um, the very low uh, frequency earthquakes here are uh, still up as high as they are um, in comparison to the others. 
but I guess it depends on where you're measuring it from. Uh, okay, I'm going to clear that off, and um, let's see, a uh, couple things thrown in here. I want to answer some questions. Uh, Paul Zilla, have you noticed the chart looks strange? Yes, it does. Uh, it does indeed look a little on the strange side. Um, one of the things I'm noticing is the spikes in here, and uh, that's kind of very weird. <laughs> um, you know, we do have spikes in the other ones, but these seem to be fairly tall ones. So, uh, kind of makes you wonder, you know, it's like in once in a while in between you get something, but um, not so many of them. Uh, mind you, that's over a la larger piece of time as well. And uh, I did try to find some correlation with the other charts, like whether we go up or down. Um, we do see this, whoop, uh, I got wrong screen, this guy here on a few of them. And uh, if I go back over and scroll through, you see that line is pointing at the same. But see, once we get back to ours, it doesn't. So, um, but here, you know, there's correlation to the other ones. So we had some kind of an activity uh, go on at that point in time. And uh, that arrow keeps pointing back to something, right? And I'm not sure if that was it or, or if uh, it's something a little further over. Um, don't really know, but uh, let's see if I can get it back up to where it's supposed to be. And uh, that should be right around there. So um, interesting, and you know, it doesn't really show any correlation. It's more or less the peak of our last eruption is when that happened. So I'm wondering if that, that did something to help clear it out. Um, don't know for sure. Anyway, uh, let's see. What else did we have here? Brown wire, uh, when it goes uh, below uh, big time. Okay, then, uh, yeah. I don't know why it's, it's staying asleep. So it's interesting. Uh, what's the longest uh, length uh, of the past? Uh, we actually, I believe we had about 42 hours before. Uh, on one of them and um, I don't recall if that number is right but uh, I thought that's what we had uh, don't know uh, for sure Thendis so uh, time period um, you know this thing should be kicking off anytime really um, 36 hours now that it's been down it's pretty hard uh, stays down to the bottom longer the eruption will come back up yeah, and usually we, we've noticed if, if the eruption does come back up uh, afterwards, it seems to be a lot stronger. It's almost like extra pressure in the uh, in the tank down below. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting uh, adventure there. Uh, hi, Paul. Okay. Uh, Kunkel is in the house as well. Uh, Hugh Blackburn, 420. Uh, good to see you guys. Uh, uh, let's see, Flo Smith also popped in here, uh, Fred is also back in the house, uh, Ada Erickson also here, let's see, who else, Juliet, uh, welcome, uh, Aaron Horton, I think I mentioned you earlier, the purple frequency uh, is trending upward, yes, and the purple one is what's referred to, uh, actually it's, it's kind of partially what uh, they refer to it, but um, because it's measured in hertz, uh, what they call a low uh, frequency earthquakes, um, which is actually from 0.1 of a hertz to one hertz, uh, as far as the scale is concerned. So, uh, still, what they're measuring there does show um, a lot of activity. At, at, you know, when you're looking at the little fuzzy edges of that, so there is stuff shaking and moving down there. It's just, what's it doing, is kind of the question. Uh, I'm suffering from lava withdrawal. Ducky, I can't help it. Uh, did you put a, a raggy in your, uh, to take back to Canada? Yeah, yeah, I did, Piggy. Um, but I didn't want to show them yet. Um, maybe I will. I don't know, it's kind of going to spoil, spoil it a little bit. Uh, for those people who I want to send it to, but maybe I will. Um, after I take my first break, I'll, I'll ponder it, and uh, we'll see if I can. Um, I've got a camera here, so we can maybe do this. Um, I do have the 
the good uh, the good camera. So well, 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 it's it's a Logitech or whatever they call it, Logi, um, sixty or six hundred sixty CT six sixty or whatever. Any just a ten eighty p, but it's it's pretty pretty good. Um, okay, so yeah, I want to actually. Uh, put it back on one of the other scenes here. Now, I still had them kind of cranked up for during the day because there's really nothing to see if we put them live for night shot. Um, but I think I will do that and see if we see any glow on some of the other ones. So um, it's probably just going to be pitch dark on uh, on the other cameras. Uh, let's see if we go uh, go live on it. Yeah. Yeah, not even a not even a flashlight in there. <laughs> so that's part of the problem, and uh, that's why I was leaving it uh, back a little bit uh, time-wise, so we can actually see what's going on. And that's actually from around 1900 uh, hours or uh, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Iceland time. That's what that looked like down in the valley. So. Um, I did try to get some shots off of the uh, the, the still camera, and let's see if I can uh, find that, uh, if I can get to the, the lighter ones. Um, yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't very good visibility for them at all. Uh, let's see, I'm not even seeing any in here that are worthy of looking at so yeah it's uh okay well that's the only picture that we're going to see here <laughs> from from the stills i'm going to see if i can get that on the screen i think that might be this guy yeah so that is the still camera uh, to the north and it was a little while ago uh, let's see uh, uh, so yeah the, the I don't have um, comparison uh, photos ready to kind of show um, but I will look into that um, because that is something that uh, that I did want to see um, and do want to do uh, to to make some comparison shots from what it was to what it is kind of thing. So that would actually be pretty cool. Uh, I did dig up. Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll push this live just so you can see. Um, this, of course, is our um, volcano discovery uh, dot com has that map out so you can see where all the uh, worldwide volcano activity is and while you're looking at that I am going to attempt to load another file or two if I can find where the heck I put them uh, I might have made a, a new folder and don't realize where I put it uh, no I found it I found it okay so something I did want to talk about was um, um, in the past there we were seeing some lava flow around the backside of uh, our uh, friendly neighborhood uh, volcano so um, just wanted to throw those out just so we can kind of have a little bit of a look and uh, then I want to talk about the berm up top there on the south end of uh, Geldinga Darler uh guten tag and nina have been off the radar for a while actually i thought they had uh, new videos out uh, yesterday or day before um i think it was uh, yesterday that they posted from the day before uh when they caught the uh, the last eruption so uh hi kunkel hi uh boy oh boy colonel fulger Fulger, I hope I said that right, sort of. Uh, welcome, anyway. Um, okay, uh, a recent volcano, that is. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just trying to keep up with what's going on. Anyway, so 
on that picture, the what I wanted to point out there was you can see off to the right hand side of the volcano that was a, a fairly substantial uh, lava pool that uh, developed over there, or lava lake, uh, rather. Unfortunately, we don't have any other good visuals of it. But as I mentioned before, um, that that area was going to fill up because it was lower laying uh, land or lower laying lava field that hadn't uh, overcome yet. And um, we can probably show that uh, using the um, the 3D map, if I can ever find where I put the darn thing. Um, I might have to reload it here. So uh, give me a, a few seconds for that. And um, I know where I want to stick the thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, there's the 3D map. And we'll grab and go here. And this, of course, is not up to date. This is not uh, not a new map. So, just using this as uh, for demonstration purposes, guys. And uh, we'll push that live real quick. And let's see, Kathy H popped in as well. Uh, who else uh, came in there? I see somebody saying Old Nick is there. I think. Yeah, uh, welcome. Uh, Piggy, of course, is in the house. Anyway, um, yeah, just to give you a demonstration of where that actually is, that lava pool. And when we look here, um, behind the, the column, now this, because it's a little bit older, you see uh, it fl was flowing out here and then going here. And if you remember, this is, is a built-up area here. So that area is, act, whoop, is actually built up uh, already. But it is kind of a bowl with the edges around it. But this area on the back side here was always, always lower. So if we zoomed in on it, it it's really hard to tell. But uh, um, it was quite low compared to uh, this upper area or that area. So... That lava flowing in there and creating a pool uh, would not surprise anyone. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm trying to get back to something else here. And let's see if that'll work for me. All right, something's not working. It's being slow. It uh, doesn't want to show pictures. Okay, let's go back to the uh, 3D chart here for a minute. Or no, I mean the uh, seismic chart, sorry. Uh, Eric Moss. Uh, okay, okay, let's go back to Robert first. Uh, there is a video of that flow. Yes, there are several videos of it out there. Uh, Old Nick, uh, welcome. Sandra Rockland also popped in. Uh, Guten Tag uh, back in Italy, I bet. Oh, Jason Slater, welcome and uh, glad to have you on board. Uh, Eric Moss, uh, how was the trip? It was really, really good, uh, Eric, and uh, enjoyed uh, being over there. Wish I could stay over there a lot longer. So, um, if the volcano continues to be stubborn, uh, you should use us uh what or you should take us on a road trip around edmonton well i could do that um that is a possibility um you know i, w I wouldn't say no to that uh, if maybe tomorrow if uh, <clears throat> if it isn't uh doing anything uh, we could do that tomorrow uh, i think you guys would enjoy that um you know, be a, I can mount the uh, the thing. Yeah, I'll show you Edmonton before before the leaves start. <clears throat> pardon me. Before the leaves start to change color, um, we'll show it to you while it's green, and then maybe we can do it down the road when it turns uh, turns colors and stuff, uh, which shouldn't be very long from now. Um, so uh, you got a bigger car. I got a van. We can pack a whole bunch of people in there.
Okay, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, that should be fun. It's just we don't have any volcanoes to drive to, so a um, little, uh, little bit of fun there. Uh, yes, then later, okay, uh, friend, welcome, uh, Ron of Virginia, welcome back, uh, show us, uh, you and your, uh, ice cream, oh, you want, uh, uh, I'll be cold, yeah, my, I don't know if you want to watch me eat a banana split, okay, uh, oh, my, my ice cream that I had in, uh, yeah, well, um, well, I did show that ice cream before. I don't don't have that file loaded up, but uh, it's interesting, uh, good concept or idea. I'm trying to uh, get something on the screen here and see if we can find anything that has any visibility right now, and none of it does. So, uh, okay, I'm going to re uh, load up another photo that. Uh, I was uh, going to look at and what I mentioned earlier I wanted to talk about the berm so I believe that might be the right picture or is this the one uh, yeah okay get these loaded up and I uh, gotta kill some of the other ones in the background all right so um, this was actually kind of interesting um, with they were doing some more work on the berm on the southern end of Gelding Gadarla and um, they've built that uh, berm up even higher and if you're looking at this you can actually see that they have um, uh, had the uh, equipment out and you can actually see the okay this this piece here oh i got to see if i can get my whiteboard working on it okay of course they they built up the uh, the height right so that's all built up but this piece right here kind of shaped like a little bit of a boomerang kind of thing um that was the original berm that they had built okay and um it's still sitting there now i don't know if they used some of that material uh, and pushed it up here or not uh, because it does look like they've built up this side as well as the other side so i don't know if that was uh, material from the other side but we are looking at material missing here okay and that was actual lava material so um it looks kind of odd but it also looks like somebody went all the way across and I think they might have been testing to see uh, what it was like and if there was uh, um, any lava tubes underneath there or something like that. Um, and it would have been fairly easy to go along like with this little digger guy here and do some sampling and make sure that you're on solid ground, right? So that is a possibility. Anyway, um, I'm just kind of intrigued the fact that the we're up here doing more work and if this thing is going to continue like to erupt and then stop and erupt and then stop kind of thing um uh, yeah it's it's easy to excavate uh, weathered basalts uh, for the br uh, brim yeah the thing is though like when uh, i don't know if how i really don't know how easy it is I know when I was breaking pieces off, it was not that easy, <laughs> okay? Uh, and I didn't say that out loud, okay? Um, so uh, you definitely need machinery to do it. Um, I wanted to actually bring up another photo here, so give me a second. And shows a little bit more activity. Uh, let's see... Uh Okay, trying to find the right picture, guys. Got too many of the darn things. Okay, we'll get this guy here. Oh, 
Okay, and this this is just the uh, the berm again with the uh, the equipment in slightly different positions, and um, then there's one more of the berm like that, and I'll load that up real quick, and that should be this guy, and this shows um, where they actually had that excavator out uh, in the lava field, so. They were definitely doing uh, doing their thing, and uh, I thought that was kind of neat and interesting. And uh, thank you to uh, Carla for uh, sending those shots to me. Um, I I could have retrieved them myself, but uh, I hadn't uh, hadn't seen them or uh, didn't see. Uh, so big thank you to Carla for uh, helping out there. And um, yeah, so you can see uh, see our digger sitting there uh, doing uh, doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing I guess uh, digging holes in lava <laughs> uh, of course right there so um, and I'm, I'm sure that what they did is they did test holes here to uh, to see if uh, if everything was okay in the depth as they went across so um, you know, you can definitely see that they drove that thing all the way across. You can see the tracks. So, um, interesting to see. Uh, anyway, I uh, just wanted to throw that in. Uh, I'll throw this back to the chart here for a second. Um, I was actually going to refresh that as well. Uh, if I can find it. And see if it's changed any. And I don't know that little skinny straggler on the end there. I don't know if that's uh, if that's coming up or not. Um, let's keep hoping. Uh, maybe it'll go in the right uh, right direction. Looking for diamonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're looking for diamonds. All right, we're looking for. Uh, you know the problem with the diamonds is is what happens to the carbon once it gets uh, in contact with air when it's superheated you know um, I'm not a physics major in that sense but uh, or you know being able to analyze the chemicals at that those temperatures but um, the carbon is what they're made out of so I don't know diamonds probably would melt in there or they'll stay solid till something else interacts with it. Um, anyway, uh, this is my home. What, William? Uh, this is uh, home. Everyone is amazing, and glad you think that because we do have a very very good uh, group of people. Uh, if we go on a road trip tomorrow, I'll pay uh, for everyone's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then this, it depends on what the volcano is doing. If the volcano is erupting, uh, then uh, we'll do uh, do a, uh, a volcano stream. But uh, if um, if it's not erupting, then maybe we'll we'll go for a drive around. And it is supposed to be nice tomorrow, so um, I think uh, I think that might work out. We'll uh, we'll give it a whirl and. Um, We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, carbon and tungsten uh, have the highest melting points. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's see. And uh, Adam can't eat them. What? You can't eat them? Okay. Well, Piggy, we know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> actually uh probably a nice cake would get you further with piggy than uh than diamonds oh uh, too too much fun okay i don't know what uh, where to leave you guys uh i wanted to go take a break um but uh, i don't know we we need to see something on the screen while i'm taking a break and uh, I was trying to figure out where the heck did I hide those videos that I just had. And uh, let me go see if we can... I'll just pop one up there that I showed the other day. It, uh, it'll at least uh, 
show you some lava. And the, the one from the drone. I just got to find it. Uh, okay, get rid of these. And yes, I have more folders now with more stuff in it, so it makes it harder to get uh, get to everything. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think we might might have found one. Oh, that looks like a short one. Yeah, I think this might work. Um, this was the uh, one of the ones that I uh, showed before but I'm gonna throw this on here and uh, I'm gonna go take a break in the meantime and uh, at least it shows the volcano in in a daylight situation piggy uh, the mo uh, what the snout says uh, Reggie is uh, running empty it's echoing oh no I don't want it echoing uh, anyway, I'm going to leave that up there, guys, uh, for uh, the short duration that I am up on, uh, on break. So um, I'll be back. Five minutes. Please uh, stick around. We'll uh, see what happens if our volcano starts erupting. And I'll be back in five. Thanks.
Okay, guys and girls and everyone else, I'm back. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and we're uh, watching our uh, lovely uh, volcano uh, recordings right now because we can't see the volcano. <laughs> it's not erupting. And uh, what you're looking at there is the... Uh, the back sides right now of uh, or the eastern side as we swing back towards the volcano to the northwest kind of uh, sorta and uh, that was while i was out there anyway i thought i'd throw that up uh, just while i was on break uh, so very cool siggy is in the house hey siggy how you doing uh, good to see you and uh, yeah it's not erupting uh, the lava workers need to get back at it. There's something wrong with them. <laughs> I commanded them, but they didn't want to. They said, no, no, we're on holidays. Siggy hasn't paid us. <laughs> so, um, pretty cool, though. So, anyway, um, did want to uh, just... Uh, oh, Piggy, I didn't scare you this time? Okay, I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to work on that. And uh, that's pretty cool uh yeah they they're on a break they'll be back yeah oh geez, siggy how's oh, that's not gonna do us much good right now you know um but anyway uh let's see okay so i did want to just pop on we'll uh, leave this video the the rest of this is basically not that good anyway so we'll leave that be um was just going to show this is one of the uh, the latest pictures uh, from uh, the uh, merit uh, where is this actually hang on um, this is the still cam that uh, just looks over uh, uh, upper Meridalia really is what uh, what it's looking at and uh, you can see our uh, volcano and I didn't get my whiteboard in the right place here uh, there we go okay so we can see our volcano right here theater hill is there and what we refer to as and hill there and of course the the one that we're sitting on is probably uh the end of uh the the what is it the lung the, the spine valley thing or <laughs> the spine oh boy uh we what uh, we must be uh, grateful uh, what we have and uh, shower the land with compliments of, and love. We await for more magic. Absolutely, Siggy. And uh, it will come. It's just a matter of time. So, um, hoping it will do something. Uh, anyway, that is a pretty good uh, shot at, you know, what it's there like right now below the cloud level. <laughs> so uh, we know there is uh, something underneath all that gray when we look at the other cameras um, but um, yeah that was from uh, 1510 uh, is when that picture was actually from and uh, I'm not sure why it did not uh, refresh any further beyond that maybe that camera is out of power too uh, who knows uh, but we have been noticing some of the cameras uh, MBL to get their their Meridalia cam back, but uh, of course it's uh, no wrong one. Uh, yeah, it was this one here, and uh, yeah, it's not showing a heck of a lot, guys. So pretty tough to do uh, do a show when you can't uh, can't see anything. Anyway, uh, throw back on the uh, seismic chart for a second and. Uh, uh, let's see where is it here we'll do that and uh, I wanted to refresh and see if there's anything showing any activity going up well I don't know <laughs> is that going up or down uh, that's kind of a, a question we should ask eh? Uh, let's see I don't know what else to talk about guys uh, you know, I wanted to uh, actually see if I can bring that other video back up that had Siggy's house on it and see if we can stop and actually have a look at that. So let me uh, let me see if I can dig that out. And then Siggy, since he's here, he can tell us exactly uh, what room he was in and, you know, where, where, the, uh, where the girls were hidden and all that stuff. 
Uh, so give me a give me a few seconds here. I think I might have found it. Uh, how is BB? BB is doing uh, well. This morning she was doing fine. Uh, when I left for work, she was uh, there to say good morning to me. So um, she's doing all right. She looked happy and content, but she's off somewhere doing her thing. Uh, why is that thing keep giving me the whiteboard? I don't want the whiteboard. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm just backing this video up here just a little bit, and then what I will do is push it live, and then um, I will probably stop it in a couple of places as we do our thing. So uh, maybe a little bit on the loud side. I got it uh, coming over my speakers here, so I don't know if uh, uh, I got to turn my volume down a little bit. Anyway, this was uh, coming up on the. Uh, uh, oh, why is that not working for me here? Okay, that's the the so-called poor farmer's house, right? And uh, one of the things I did want to point out here. Um, I didn't realize how much of a drop off uh, the material on the, the right hand side is. Um, it is actually quite um, quite a big drop and let's see, oh there's my whiteboard. Why is that not working? Um, this, this area here, I didn't realize this is uh, from here to down on the floor there, that's that's actually quite steep. Um, so if you have some lava, pour, you know, pushing up and over this, uh, it'll look pretty cool. But what I was gonna point out here is this is a low area and there's a huge, huge culvert. You can almost drive a car through that culvert that's there and it comes out on the other side, uh, somewhere over on about there. So that's kind of interesting. Um, if I clear that off and we can let that move ahead a little bit. And of course the, uh, oh, I got that thing in the way. I can't see the video. All right, got to get on there for the controls and uh, we'll let it play. So um, uh, yeah, that's the abandoned house and uh, Okay, now note on the, the right hand side, that that area, they bulldozed it out and cleaned it out, so that gives it an actual path. So I'm wondering if that was kind of on purpose. Um, so it's kind of interesting if we stop it there for a second. Uh, you can see uh, the other parking lot and of course the machine uh, sitting there. So um, kind of neat. Um, this is just uh, off our land, okay. Um, and then there's uh, the parking lot that we're about to get to here. Uh, so this one I believe is parking lot number two. Yeah, that's parking lot number two. And um, that I do believe is on your land, right Siggy? Uh, parking lot number two. Uh, or at least I would think uh, and that one uh, okay that one is not ours oh okay uh, so that's somebody else's but they uh, still charge the same <laughs> and uh, as we go a little bit further then uh, we'll get up uh, around the, the curve here a bit and then we'll get to uh, the parking lot number one 
which is the uh, the most busy one that I noticed okay so it had the most uh, most cars parked in it all the time and um, that was kind of interesting to see so uh, you got the right one uh, just outside okay And we should be coming up on the other one here real quick. Yeah, there it is with the uh, the 30 kilometer an hour signs. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. It's you, you don't realize till you actually have driven and been there how high some of those hills really are. And um, it's, it's quite interesting. So... Um, if we keep going a little bit here, of course, you can see that f sign flashing, giving you the speed limit. So, but you see how many cars are actually in that parking lot. So, um, uh, LOL, the speed limits in Iceland are the same uh, as here, but uh, they're in kilometers and we're in miles per hour. Yeah, um, that's about it. It's pretty cool. Yes, all uh, there and north of there is uh, ours and to the west. Okay, uh, very cool. Hey, Tom Trulove, uh, welcome. And uh, we're just going over some of the uh, old footage here. So, yeah, this one was pretty neat. The, um, the Ranger was actually the one in the, uh, in the blue trailer. There was, uh, that was for the Rangers. And uh, the brown uh, one was the uh, food stand that was there. I never did have anything there from the food stand, but uh, um, I did go talk to the uh, the people uh, at the um, ranger station there, or in that blue uh, sea can, as they call it. Uh, was okay. I really like uh, this community. Oh, mama of hamsters. Okay, Dr. Fox and friends, great people. I'm glad you enjoy it. And, uh, you know, we try to welcome everyone who comes in here. As long as uh, as long as long they behave, we're good. <laughs> uh, and west, almost to, uh, what? West, almost to Grinvik and north. Uh, oh, okay. So that's quite a bit... Uh, quite a bit of land there and uh, let me see if I can get that going again Oop. Uh, where to go where to go there it is and uh, we'll let that play and it's actually what what I found interesting though was you know like I was expecting a little bit more of a flat contour um, not quite so hilly so uh, that's kind of an, an interesting twist in uh, in my expectations uh, so um, that was something unique that I learned about Iceland that uh, I never knew and the fact that majority of what you see is all volcanic is pretty uh, pretty awesome so kind of neat uh, hello, Doc. Uh, this day 168, uh, the date I said would the lava would make it. Uh oh, oh, Diane. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess you're you're about as bad as me because tomorrow's 169, and uh, I, that's what I said, and it ain't happening. Uh, at least at least not yet. You never know. I mean, I I still have a chance. Uh, a few a uh, few hours of. Uh, it going absolutely crazy would be uh, really cool. Uh, I think the lava eight uh, eight thousand years old, uh, and uh, over seven hundred. Okay, uh, yeah, eight thousand years old and seven hundred. So the layers, yeah, because it's it's older lava and newer lava. Uh, still, that's uh, pretty wild, pretty neat. Okay, so how far is it to your house, Siggy? Uh, from the machine shop <laughs> or from the uh, whatever they're doing quarry I guess uh, down there on the left coming up uh, is an uh, amazing beach um, yeah that's quite a steep cliff on the left hand side 
Um, I did want to actually go down there and have a look and see, but I thought, okay, I'm not going to trust the edges, though. So I decided not to. Uh, about three kilometers down, okay, um, I'll, uh, I'll watch the speedometer <laughs> or odometer. Uh, pretty cool. So, uh, but yeah, I did want to go take a look. So it's, it's interesting and, and you know, you see how close these volcanoes would have been to Siggy's house. Uh, we used to go uh, there when I was a kid. Uh, we entered uh, on, okay, on the right uh, front, uh, okay, cool. Uh, on the right side, on front, okay, neat, neat. So, yeah, I guess this is all a, a huge quarry now of some sort where they're digging out, uh, uh, I don't know if it's rocks or lava rocks or something, um, grinding up lava. Uh, we walked to the ocean and turned east and it was amazing. Okay. Is that when you're able to look at the uh, cliffs and stuff like that off in the distance? Uh, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, they're coming up on the left. Um, okay, so uh, it's not these ones here. Whoop! Uh, where's my? Oh, I gotta move. I gotta do this something here. So, cut, remove, paste. We'll get this. Whoop! I let it go. I had to do that. Okay. Oh darn! I hit the wrong button. Let's get us back there, guys. I think I went too far already here. There. Okay. So. Uh, all right. So is this this the right place, Siggy? Am I in the right place? I'm just waiting for him to respond. Or is it a little bit too far? There on the left. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one on the left. Well, crayons aren't working. I'm gonna fix that. All right. The tall house. This one here. That was your grandfather's house. That's pretty cool. So that's interesting. Um, very, very interesting to get that kind of history. Uh, the hands uh, soggy. Oh, soggy <laughs> tissues. Uh, we don't want soggy tissues. Um, yeah, it's in a bad state. Okay. Well, I hope somebody uh, does something and restores it or whatever they need to do to uh, to keep it going. And I know the weather there is harsh. Um, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see. Who else popped in? Don Arnold, uh, Harold G. Uh, welcome. And uh, let's see. Juliet, I think I got you earlier there. Sharon Stewart, welcome. Uh, Payet is back as well. Uh, glad to have you on board. And you know, let's see, did I miss anyone else that might have snuck in? Kathy H., uh, welcome. Uh, Luke Mule, of course, Big Mac. Um, 420, I think I got you earlier there. So, uh, Aunt Mary Martin, uh, welcome back. Uh, Andrea King, uh, Diane Sapp, uh, welcome you guys. Uh, Miss Lobo Bob, I see you're back. Good to see you. And I think I got most of the other ones in there. If I did miss your name, I do apologize. Um, I used to try to, uh, or I try to give everybody, you know, a big welcome kind of thing. So anyway, um, it is just about time for me to take another break, but I don't know if I really want to take a break or if I want to kind of uh, shut down or not, because uh, I'm not sure what the heck to really do here at this point. Um, but 
we're going to let this uh, play here for uh, a couple more minutes. Um, let's see. I think it's about seven more minutes that it'll play. So um, we'll let that uh, run through. Yeah, right there. Okay. We'll clear that. And um, the painting on top is done by my uh, mother years ago. Cool. <clears throat> Seattle Kiwi. Hi, Dr. Fox. Thanks for the con uh, continuing the live stream. Um, this is a highlight of my day. Seattle Kiwi, thank you for the uh, super chat. We really do appreciate it. And yeah, I I figured, you know, it's Friday night. I mean, <laughs> um, I was hoping this thing would be cooking, the, that the volcano would actually be erupting. And I'm a little disappointed in her. Um, you know, it, it could have been kicking up big time by now. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So, um, now I did have some other videos that I thought maybe we can take a look at uh, later. But I'm going to go take that break. I'm going to let this run out. And uh, by the time uh, this is done, I will be done my break. So, um, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Um, neat house on the right, though. Uh, just so you, if you noticed it, it was pretty cool, uh, kind of up on stilts. Uh, anyway, I'll be back in five minutes, and uh, don't go away. Keep smiling, guys. Thanks. Are you guys able to hear that volume from the uh, the road, the road noise? Just a quick question. Um, uh, I I know you probably hear it over the background noise here, but if I turn that off, do you still hear it? Uh, oh, you're off of your land. Wow. Yeah, Doc went on a break. He wanted to leave the volume on, though, for the, the road. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay, I got the microphone back on, and I know Piggy left, so I wasn't going to scare her. Anyway, uh, since that stopped, I'm going to uh, put on the uh, earlier version of this. Uh, I had uh, just stopped off and uh, talked to a guy that was fishing, and uh, I just kind of wanted to whoop, uh, back that up just a little bit. Uh, oh, did I back it up too far? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, use this to encourage the lava workers. <laughs> Fendus. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, anyway, I was trying to stop it here just so we can kind of look at the... On the uh, uh, left-hand side, that yellow thing that you see there, I was trying to figure out what the heck is that. And that's actually some kind of a lobster or crayfish. And uh, it looked pretty neat. And I just thought I'd um, point that guy out. And um, it was uh, kind of neat. It's, it's kind of from a distance it almost looks like some kind of triceratops. But it's actually a crayfish. And um, thank you very much, Thendis. Um, really do appreciate that super chat. And... Uh, that's awesome and so we have to encourage those lava workers <laughs> and uh, see what happens anyway um, yeah that was kind of neat to see see that but this uh, this chunk of video is actually 35 minutes uh, long and um, I think we'll we'll play some of it and uh, see what uh, what you guys think and um, I did try to record uh, from earlier coming down and I wish I had a map I could pull up here real quick but I don't uh, I'll have to uh, maybe get Google on there or something to show you where where this was actually at but there it's some kind of a little inlet in there on the right hand side and this of course is to the east of uh, where we were originally um, I don't know if that volume is too loud let me see if I can turn that down a bit for you. Um, I hope that's okay. Because it is loud here. So Anyway, I thought this was kind of neat to, uh, to just cruise along. The road noise is uh, too high. We can hardly hear you. Okay, what about now? Uh, what if I cut that back? Okay, how's that? Uh... Oh, okay, that should be even better. I, I think I just got it streaming now. Yeah, that, that it is, you know, loud on the road. Um, uh, Dr. Fox, you should do the car ride we enjoyed so much. Uh, I'm sleepy, I must be getting old. Uh, I hope to see you uh, with uh, Lava tomorrow, okay? I'm, I'm hoping to see you Lava tomorrow, too. Um, Okay, as long as it's good, uh, good sound level. Uh, don't start the volcano and what? No, no Minnesota volcanoes. We don't need them there. I was thinking southern Alberta, though. That would be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> oh, actually, we don't want one here either, but uh, it could happen. So, uh, anyway, Siggy is throwing uh, the, his Facebook link up there uh, of... Uh, I guess maybe the area. I'm going to see if I can open that up and uh, have a quick uh, look. Okay, there's the old house. Yeah, uh, so if you guys haven't seen it uh, yet, uh, close up, go to that link, and uh, uh, Siggy's got a picture of it there. And uh, I'm not sure if he snuck out the basement windows at night or, or where, how he got out, but uh, that's probably what, what he did. Um, the, yeah, the old house, uh, uh, 420 in plain sight, actually you don't need to for this, you can just pop on there and it'll just show, uh, show the house if you want to, uh, just have a quick look at it. It's, it's kind of neat looking, uh, it gives you a little bit closer up view. Uh, I'm going to grab, uh, a bite to eat, check you guys later. And you know what, guys? Um, this is something I was thinking uh, because we really don't have uh, the volcano erupting. I'm gonna take a break 
uh, I think from the streaming for a while uh, for tonight and uh, if it starts erupting later on tonight I will come back on and uh, I think that would be a, a fair shake uh, and uh, try to uh, get things uh, riled up here a little bit because we're, we're really not seeing much of anything right now but um, uh, thin crepes uh, oh thin crepes I love thin crepes oh man you roll up, roll up the thin crepes with uh, all kinds of different things in, inside you can do strawberries you can actually do meat in there food yes mm. maybe I should do a Dr. Fox cooking show eh? <laughs> uh, good night uh, twig if you're leaving um, I, at least that's what I thought you were saying. Uh, Sandra Rockland, also in the house. I don't know if I mentioned you earlier there. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, let's see. Who else did I see that I didn't say hi to? I'll have to wait till they go by again. Uh, London Lava Lout reminds me of an old volcano ga game desert bus. Hmm, interesting. Uh, fairly green there though for uh, a desert but uh, pretty cool uh, okay food what uh, we do love food so much <laughs> good memories yeah food is good Chris Golds uh, good evening everyone I'm from the state of Wisconsin in the USA and uh, welcome Chris and uh, um, there's a lot of people in from from the US of course as well as a lot of people from Europe in here right now as well as me who well, I'm here in Edmonton Alberta Canada and I'm actually about 5,000 uh, kilometers away or 3,154 miles roughly from that volcano that we so diligently observe but we're watching something else because it's not doing anything right now and we can't see it in the dark so uh, hopefully you can understand that and uh, the video we are watching though is something that I recorded while I was out in Iceland uh, just uh, not last week well week before last week that kind of thing so um, it is fairly fresh material and uh, uh, we do like it uh, I think I'm gonna go call it a night too another busy day for me night everyone good night grandma B uh, you take care and uh, have a good sleep and uh, um, be good and hopefully uh, things will uh, work out uh, did a 14 hour tour uh, or tour trip uh, once straight okay wow 14 hours that's too long too long um all right a good 500 miles for fun that's yeah for fun that's about it kathy h uh, thank you for that uh, 10 dollar super chat i really do appreciate that that's awesome and uh thank you guys all of you guys who uh, do the super chatting um i find that support is helpful and uh, I really do appreciate it, uh, but you know you really don't have to. And uh, I can I can make it without it. Um, but uh, nice to have though. Thank you. Um, anyway, uh, as we're watching here, this was heading more towards uh, towards the ocean again as we kind of turned down the way the the land was. I was just trying to think of what map I've got that might show that area. And uh, I really don't know. Uh, let's see if uh, I have something in there that's going to show a little bit more of a map for us on the road. To give you a little bit more of an idea where it actually is. And I know a lot of it does look very plain and simple. And uh, this is more of what I thought of Iceland to be like, pretty much flat. Um, did your uh, trip cost more than you had thought it would? Oh yeah, 
<laughs> yes, Seattle, it did. Uh, but uh, not to worry, not to worry. Um, I was uh, actually uh, did the math there a little bit more than than it should have been. But uh, we're okay. Uh, we'll we'll make things uh, work. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, some crushed basalts. Cool. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. I wanted to. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to let this play. Um, I hope that audio is not too, too loud. Um, if it should be good. And uh, I'm going to see if I can bring up a map. So I'm going to turn the microphone off because I may curse. And of course there's a roundabout. And um, we went further west, which is cool. So. I'll be back in a minute or two, guys, uh, to see if I can locate this on a map. Okay, I got the microphone back on uh, and uh, just wanted to uh, pop this, uh, I can pop it onto uh, live here so we can see the map and uh, kind of give you a, a little bit of an idea where, where we're at. So uh, we had just gone around, uh, let's see if I can get that right here, the traffic circle. So we are heading this way. Uh, down uh, 427 so if I go zoom in a little bit you can actually see uh, that roundabout was uh, here and uh, we're traveling this way so this is Google Maps so we should be coming up to this pretty quick and uh, we'll go uh, let that play if I can get back to it now so it should be still working yeah I don't think it reset itself better not have and, uh, let's see if I can get back to it no it's still uh, oh it did reset itself darn it okay anyway this was where okay I moved it ahead a bit it's uh, getting near where where I showed that um, 
where we had the uh, the inlet. Anyway, well, we'll let that play here for a second. Uh, Ducky, uh, what, uh, Dr. Fox, the sounds is making me sleepy. <laughs> uh, car noises, don't fall asleep with car noises. I enjoyed the car video uh, when you broadcast live. It was like being there. Thanks, Dr. Fox. Uh, uh, Seattle Kiwi, uh, I thought, that, you know, for for a last minute kind of split decision thing in my own head to, hey, I thought it was going to be neat. Um, how much uh, did the COVID uh, PCR test cost in dollars uh, for your trip? Uh, London Laval out uh, for here in Canada to go, it was $150 Canadian. And uh, for uh, because I took two tests there. Uh, I took the PCR test, um, the one that I took, actually took in um, Reykjavik, which was supposed to be for the original flight back. Uh, that one, I think, cost me $71 Canadian, or uh, 7,000 uh, kroners, uh, krona, and... Uh, the second one that I took uh, was actually uh, only uh, $41 Canadian or about 40 or 4,000 kroner. So it was actually not very expensive um, over there. So, and the results from the second one I had within, I think, six hours. Uh, from the first one, it took them, I think, about 20 hours to get the results to me. So it was very, very quick. Um, to get the results and they are open daily and uh, yes there's a lot of lineup but uh, they process people very quickly so uh, as long as you uh, set everything up ahead of time uh, yes uh, it was a good thing to do uh, yeah thanks uh, Seattle uh, Juliet okay, uh, okay yes it can be very pretty and yeah, this is where we were going by when you looked at the map there, kind of the, there's more of an inlet there. That's very interesting to, um, to see. And uh, the fisherman I was talking to, he said that they have, um, uh, what I guess they're, they're like a, a trout, uh, ocean trout that come in there uh, into those areas and they fish for them. And apparently those ocean trout eat kind of like a worm-like thing, fish thing. I don't know what it is that's there, but uh, that's what the guy was trying to tr tell me. Didn't have the right name for it. Uh, the dome building was a restaurant and scenic uh, overlook. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Ron. Uh, yes, and salmon. Uh, definitely a lot of salmon in there. And... Uh, and some very good tasting salmon at that. Um, I did enjoy it. Uh, hi all, is Piggy back in the, or is, or what? Is Piggy in the back? No, right now on this trip, she wasn't in the back seat. Um, this was just uh, just driving along and having a look at the, uh, the stuff. This is actually heading back towards Gr uh, Grindavik. Um, and I figured I like I did record that it was a 35 minute long video uh, that I had there and uh, I just thought I'd throw that on because we don't have anything else to share right now unfortunately um, my other camera it had several other videos on it that I really really was hoping to have but uh, they were no longer there so um, we got 198 people. Uh, you're in the carpool. <laughs> yeah, I can drive in the carpool lane, no problem. <laughs> Absolutely, that's pretty awesome. Uh, there's almost nothing uh, wild in Iceland. Uh, yeah, there's wild rabbits. We seen one. <laughs> we know they exist. Uh, that that was actually priceless to see that rabbit. That uh, really really made my uh, made my day when I seen that. I just thought, wow. And for those who don't know about that, if you haven't looked at the uh, 
the, the one video there where everybody came along for the car ride when I, I actually streamed it rather than just filming it. This is just uh, filmed with my action cam on the dashboard. Um, but the other one I had done from uh, the uh, uh, actual phone uh, live, right? So it was pretty cool um, and uh, it was a very good, uh, good time. So if you follow along in the chat and everything, um, you might want to have a look if you haven't seen that video yet. Um, just something that someone let loose. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know. The uh, black bunny wouldn't wouldn't be getting over to Iceland uh, on its own. It uh, it would be too uh, too much of a tasty target for too many different uh, animals out there, including whales. If they like killer whales or something, um, if they were on an ice floe. Uh, Doctor Fox, I think Arctic foxes are found uh, naturally there. I think. Um, I don't know if um, there are foxes, but I don't know if uh, uh, mink birds uh, and small herd of reindeer. Okay. Yeah, I guess there really isn't that much area there that is good for grazing. And uh, I think that's probably the, the biggest concern because if you don't have food to support an ecosystem of larger animals that are grazing, type of animals you're just not going to have them there so I can understand having foxes there because they can go after birds and things like that as well right uh, Icelandic bison um, I don't know whales yeah puffins oh yeah no I still remember that guy was talking about uh, having eaten a puffin and uh, he said it tasted like sardines Robert S. is in the house. Good day. And uh, glad to have you on board, uh, S. Uh, Simo. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this basically was uh, heading down that highway. And uh, we were uh, westbound. And this was actually heading back towards the... Uh, towards the volcano so it was pretty uh, pretty cool I did take a, a kind of a, a jaunt around everything there and um, some of that video didn't turn out so well so I'm gonna leave it be but uh, I think I did go through uh, Ol Olfus was one of the places there that I went through um, let's see or Cephas yeah, Cephas, Ophus, and so on. So uh, I went around back on Highway 1 uh, out of uh, Reykjavik and then cut down, uh, I guess it's 310, and then back on the 34 and then 427 uh, back to Grindvik. So pretty cool. Uh, there's not really that cold there. Yeah, actually it's it's more, more uh, a coastal climate, if you will. Um, it's not that bad uh, at least not where I was you know that's uh, I would look at it as, as being uh, almost kind of a Anchorage Alaska kind of weather but a little bit warmer so uh, temperate climber uh, not uh, very cold winters and not very warm summers <laughs> yeah and that's, uh, that's, I guess, uh, probably the best way to, uh, to describe it. Uh, minus 10, minus 15, maybe at the most in Celsius. And that's really not that, not that bad. Um, that's actually fairly warm compared to here, right? Never like the, uh, the nord yeah, northern U.S. or Canada. <laughs> In the winter time, yeah, Canada gets a heck of a lot colder. Um, the 20C most of the summer. Yep. And uh, speaking of coastal types, there's uh, CND boy uh, is in the channel, and uh, he's one of those guys. Hey, David Ross also popped in. Uh, good evening. Uh, glad to have you on board. Uh, let's see. 
Trojan Pony also snuck in the door. Good to have you back on board there, Trojan Pony. Uh, glad to have you here. And uh, anyway, guys, I think I am going to um, uh, cut the stream short for now. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the uh, seismic chart before I did that, though. And for the life of me, I don't know where I put it. Um, all right, we'll, we'll figure this out. split my screen up here and we'll see great to see you all thanks for sharing the moment uh, with me and uh, Siggy I'm glad you're here you know that uh, and I'm also glad that uh, it kind of brings back some uh, memories for you which is is kind of nice in a way uh, whether they're good or bad is kind of not up to me but uh, I, I hope it does throw some stuff back in there uh, hope you wouldn't catch me sneaking in. Oh, yeah, I caught you. <laughs> Enjoying the trip uh, down memory lane. And, yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome to actually see. And let's see if I can find... Yeah, there's my seismic chart. I wanted to uh, bring that back up. Uh, but I don't know where... Oh, hang on. That's number six. Scene number six, and I gotta refresh it to see what's happening. And uh, it's still uh, still holding steady down on the bottom end. So I think what I am going to do uh, for now is I am going to um, give it up for right now. And then I think what we will do is if the eruption starts happening at a reasonable hour, um, this evening yet I will uh, start the stream up again and uh, we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot see what happens and uh, hopefully you guys are all good with that and I know a lot of you have to go to sleep especially the ones over in Europe who are are uh, at the tipping point if you will and uh, I really uh, really hope that we see something uh, kicking up uh, and this evening uh, as well or well even even for tomorrow I mean uh, like I said this has now been down over over 36 hours so it's it's got to get back up there uh, go live with lava you betcha and uh, that's what I want to do so I'm gonna leave this road trip uh, for now um, we'll throw it back on the seismic chart uh, just so you can see that and uh, that looked pretty cool and uh, that is the latest one and if I just double check here we'll refresh on it it'll pop back up there yeah this is as fresh as you can get them hot off the press so um, that is our chart right now and uh, it is what it is and uh, I was going to see if we can see anything in any of the cameras right now. Uh, William Lyons throws a five pound super chat in. Thank you, William. I do appreciate that. Um, we were not seeing uh, any eruption. Uh, still enjoying the live stream and everyone. And we have a very, very good group of people here. So I do appreciate each and every one of you. And um, William, uh, thanks for that five pound super chat. That's awesome. Um, anyway, I'm going to just go around the cameras real quick. Um, of course, here's our not haggy camera. Uh, not showing a heck of a lot. And, uh, oh, here's the, uh, the other one I didn't update yet. Uh, I still have it sitting back. I got to fix that. Um, why is it sitting not live? It should have been live. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's the live picture. <laughs> that's pretty pretty poor uh, here's the next one uh, it's the same thing um, and of course uh, this one here so guys I wish we had something other than uh, reruns to look at but uh, that is it for tonight so on that friendly note I think I'm going to uh, uh, throw a picture of some sort up here just to make it look like we're actually looking at volcanoes and um oh hang on 
that might not be right. I'll get it. Oh, oh, that's the road trip. We don't want to see that. We'll cut that guy out. Okay, so that's what we really wanted to see. And, you know, I, I got to play this at least and let you have a lava fix. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> This is kind of what we want to see later on when it splashes over and keeps us all happy. So on that friendly note, guys, uh, I, yeah, it is, uh, this was from while I was there. So um, it was pretty cool footage and I just figured I'd uh, throw that on there as a, a closing statement and hopefully uh, this is what we're going to see tomorrow um, or something. Uh, similar um, 24 7 he's uh, uh, done an incredible job he yeah um, awesome okay good night everyone uh, Harold uh, I didn't say hello to you but uh, thanks for stopping in and I want to say a special thank you to um, all the uh, the super chatters tonight uh, job well done and uh, with uh, uh, supporting the channel I really do appreciate it and also uh, thank you to uh, uh, Arizona snowman and Siggy and uh, having uh, mods here uh, always helps and um, even Gary's in so 24-7 uh, uh, AZ Skies um, as well if you haven't checked his stream out uh, you might want to pop in there as well and have a look but anyway, this was uh, footage um, that I had recorded while I was in Iceland. And, um, you know, that was actually uh, pretty cool. So thank you, everyone, for, uh, for watching. And uh, thank you for uh, being here. And like I said, if uh, the uh, volcano erupts, I will definitely uh, stream tonight again as long as it's not too too late and uh, if it doesn't um, then we will probably see you tomorrow at noon because I can't see this thing being dormant any more than that um, but you never know and like we said before this is a dynamic situation so you you really don't know what could happen and uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed so so Good night, everyone, and uh, take care, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see you later. And uh, keep smiling and all that nice good stuff. And I'm not going to use my line yet because um, we're going to hope the, that uh, this thing comes back. So we'll work on that later. Uh, take care for now, though, and uh, I'll be good. And I will uh, put my thing on here that uh, says good night and all that stuff and uh, for now and we will see you guys uh, either later or tomorrow take care everyone and uh, see you in a bit thanks for watching and thank you uh, all the uh, mods super chatters uh, all of you because without you the stream wouldn't be here so uh, thank you see you later